Hi everyone. I, I want to uh, do a demo on a couple of videos to um, show you how to select uh, an area of a picture to apply an edit without applying the edit to the whole image. Um, so I've got a couple that are pretty easy that I want to show you first. And um, in, in this one, I think the picture looks pretty good as it is, but I thought that maybe we could use a little bit more brightness in the foreground here. So the foreground is very under, under shadow because uh, the camera exposed for the area that is, is lit. Um, and of course it looks really good. The sky looks really good, but it's just a little dark. So um, I just want to fix the foreground and so I need to select it. So there's a tool here in your tool palette called the Quick Selection Tool, and it's like a brush, and I can make the brush bigger and smaller by pressing on the uh, left and right bracket key to the right of the letter P on my keyboard. And I'm just going to drag across the, sh the, the foreground. And what it's done is it's made a selection and I can edit everything that's inside the selection and I can't edit anything that's outside of the selection. So what I'm going to do, um, first of all, is it kind of selected everything in the foreground and I really don't want the selection to apply to the areas that are um, lit up. I only want to select the shadowed areas. And so I'm going to refine this selection by going into Select and Mask. That's up here at the top. And this is an environment that shows you what you've got selected, what you've got masked out, um, and it has some tools to let you edit that selection. And so I just, first of all, I want to show you that there's different ways of looking at your selection um, in, the, in the Select and Mask. Um, you can look at it like onion skin. You've got the overlay, which is what I usually prefer. You can kind of tint out the background. You can even like just look at it as pure black and white. Um, and one of the things that happens when you just use the, um, like the quick select tool is you get this really abrupt edge, um, you know, between the, between the forms. And in our picture, we have a lot of grass, we have a lot of trees, um, and it's going to look really weird and photoshopped if we don't make our selection look more natural. So there's a brush in here called the Refine Edge Brush Tool, and it is an awesome tool because it can see the edges of things. Um, I don't have to be too precise on, on this picture because it is a landscape and it is, um, you know, already just because it's nature kind of irregular. Uh, but what you're going to see that it can do is it can actually see the edges of the individual blades of grass. And that's just going to make my selection a lot more natural looking. And so what I'm trying to do is kind of come in and mask out these areas that are in highlight. It's not getting everything, but I think it's getting enough that it's going to look pretty legit. Okay, so just to show you what this tool did, because uh, I don't think you can see it too well in this view, let me go back to the black view. And um, I'm going to zoom in on that just a little bit. So there's no way that I could have ever, um, with any of the selection tools, gotten individual blades of grass like this, okay? Or, you know, just that kind of soft, fuzzy, irregular edge um, that's going to let me make some changes to everything that's not masked out, and you're not really going to be able to tell it was Photoshopped. Okay, so let me go back to uh, my image. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do, um, I always like to have my layers palette and my uh, properties palette exposed so that um, I can see what I'm, easily see what I'm doing. So they're usually docked over here off to the side. Um, I'm going to click this little 
half circle down here, which lets me make what's called an adjustment layer. And I'm going to choose exposure. This is super, super easy. Okay. And what it did, nothing's changed in my picture yet, but you can see it created a mask uh, over top of layer one. Okay. Um, and in my properties panel, I have these little slider bars. And I'm just going to go to the uh, slider bar on the top that says exposure, and I'm going to drag it to the right a little bit. And you can see that the areas that I had selected are lightening up, but the areas I had masked out are not changing. You know, and that's the difference between making a selection um, and applying an edit to the entire picture. Okay, and what I want you guys to start doing is selecting out what needs to be edited and leave the rest of the picture alone. Um, so just to give you a little before and after, uh, there it was before, and there it is after. Okay, and uh, let me show you on one other landscape. Uh, it worked really nicely. Um, I wanted to do kind of the same thing. I wanted to just get a little bit more lightness in the trees. So um, I'm going to use my quick selection tool again. Okay, and um, you can see that it, you know, pretty much selected all the all the trees, but it didn't really get everything precise along the edges. So I'm going to go into select and mask and again get my refine edge tool and um, just drag it along the edge okay so drag it along the edge of the water down here i'm hoping that it's going to pick up a little bit of the blades of grass right here you want to make sure that you're getting both the tree leaves and the empty sky with the brush. Okay, and let me show you what it did. Let's go into that black and white view. That looks great. That's a very nice selection. So when I apply that edit to, that exposure edit to the layer, it's not gonna look like somebody chopped something out in Photoshop. It's gonna look nice and natural. Click OK. Again, I'm gonna make a selection layer. I mean, I'm sorry, an exposure layer. I'm going to drag the slider bar to the right just a little bit. And, you know, there, there it is. Okay, so it looks um, just a little bit more uh, bright. 